Aggie fans have to be wondering what will happen next after a rocky ending to the Texas A&M football season that included two quarterback transfers, a loss in the Music City Bowl, and a departing coordinator. Texas A&M has now lost its athletic director. Eric Hyman is stepping down after three and a half years on the job. Hyman was hired in June of 2012 to help Texas A&M with its transition into the SEC. Since the Aggies have played in that conference, Texas A&M teams have captured 12 SEC championships in multiple sports. One of those championships was captured by the Aggie women's basketball team in 2013. Hall of Fame coach Gary Blair led A&M to that conference tournament title, and he believes the news of Hyman's departure was unexpected. I think it's a little bit of a shock uh, because he has been through so much, uh, the rebuilding of Kyle Field. Uh, when he came in, the place was set. All the coaches were winning in every sport, and I think he's only had to replace one coach since he's been here in three and a half years. Uh, he's leaving the program in good shape, I do know that. Uh, the coaches are very well respected across the country, and. He didn't come in and really try to micromanage what was already working. Eric Hyman released a statement today saying that he appreciates his time at Texas A&M and is proud of the student athletes achievements both on and off the field. Hyman goes on to say that the best part of an AD's job is forming wonderful relationships with student athletes, colleagues, former students and Texas A&M has been no exception. I will always value my time here and the friendships I have made with Aggies. He concludes by wishing Texas A&M nothing but continued success. Texas A&M President Michael Young will be directly involved in hiring a new athletic director. Until that process is complete, Hyman will continue working as the AD at Texas A&M. KAGS reached out to Hyman for further comment. He replied promptly saying, maybe sometime in the future, but not right now.